money. Get your bread. Right. But then I start seeing y'all really do love each other. And I see you even when... It's not about the money. Can I hear you, sweetie? I said it's not about the money, but... Of course not. I get it. Yeah. What is it mm -hmm. about? What's keeping you guys together? Love. You think... Because I've been in this before. I fucked with people where... Maybe it's, it's a traumatic bond that brought y'all together. Maybe it was something that happened that was very big that only y'all two understand. If that makes any sense. Traumatic bonds can... That is such a fucking backhanded compliment way to say your relationship is trash. Shit, maybe life is so horrible for both of y'all that you decided to be together. <laughs> how, do you, how do you insult somebody's relationship more than to say... Maybe it must have been something traumatic that happened that nobody else understands and that's why y'all together Not because you're good for each other not because you bring out the best in each other not because Krishan I see that you're an amazing woman and blue face I see that you're an amazing man and you guys deserve each other But something must have happened in life that was so bad for y'all to bring each other to each other yeah, you're right, Sharita. She does have to be open to receive. She seemed like um, when she was on that podcast with B. Simone, she seemed to be really receptive to the things they had to say. But they also knew how to speak her language. When she was with Angela Yee, it felt like they were kind of trying to get her to act up. That's what I picked up from it. That they were trying to get her to, to misbehave and they never got it out of her because that was a room full of aunties. You know, and those are all pretty boring women themselves. Um... Yeah, she does. She needs some people in her life that really care. Yep. Hopefully she finds those people. Because ain't none of them in that motherfucking room. That's the guy. Uh, I mean, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's traumatic. I think it's... Um, yeah, I don't think that either. Only if we fight each other. Uh, it's not a traumatic bond. It's more of a... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like It's like an underground thing. Like I, When I met her, she was underground right you know so underground her getting important to, uh, to break this down because here's where she starts to pick up on the shade and it's unfortunate because in our culture we throw so much shade at each other god damn and a lot of times we throw so much shade at each other that things build up on the inside and we don't even realize it's happening so then when we explode, people wonder what happened, but we've been sitting back letting somebody throw shade at us, not even understanding what's happening. Has said, I can't understand why y'all are together. He done already called her stupid. He done already called her crazy. And BJ, tell me if this is what you see or if you see something different, please. I don't understand why y'all are together. It could have been something traumatic. And then her man comes behind and says, no, it's not money. It's not trauma. It's an underground thing. What the fuck does that mean? She says underground. Mm. I mean, it just sounds like, you know, people not on the same page. You know, I don't know if he got an ace in the hole that he's trying to, you know, slide into her spot, but... It just sound real messy. Messy. Real messy. Real questionable. A lot of uncertainties. You know, that's that's kind of what I'm gathering from what was presented in that scenario. It was um when your man can't say why y'all together. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's got to cut like a knife. And women are extremely intu intuitive. Women understand energy. And she even goes on later on to say it's your energy to um, sparkle. What's his name? Sharp. Sharp. She, even goes, <laughs> she even goes on to say it's your energy. Don't treat a, a mean bitch like a dumb bitch. It's not the same. It's not the same. Don't treat a bitch who know how to get down like she can't think. Like she can't sense what's going on. That is a woman. The intuition of a woman is unstoppable. It is undefeated. So for this man to sit next to her and put his arm around her, he can't even justify why they're together and use a word like it's an underground thing. And we ain't even got into it yet because she looked at him like... I don't know if I wouldn't have just gave him a quick one, Rick. What the fuck you mean underground? What the fuck? That could mean so many things, but none of them sound pretty. None of them sound like nothing you want to tell your mama about. 
None of it sounds reassuring. Or concrete. You optional. Yeah, you you, go- you kind of, you're replaceable. Opportunistic. And the fact that Sharp didn't call that shit out right now tells you he was biased. Because that's a motherfucking pimp. Listening to a man say his bitch was an underground thing. And that's what attracted him to her. They talking pimp talk. I choose you, baby. They talking pimp talk. I, that's pimp talk. I choose you, baby. That's a good song. That's a good song. I was listening to that song yesterday. Ah, that's my shit. <laughs> that's ratchet. my shit. It's ratchet behavior. But it's not ironic that that's a wedding song sung by pimps. 